know what's my last experience with Charles? I'm happy the way I am. I don't want anything that will cause me heartbreak. Nelly, I know. I mean, I understand. But you're a woman. You need to settle down. You need a man that will make you happy. You need a man that will love and cherish you. You cannot continue like this. You need to settle down someday. So, why must it be that boy? Why must it be that boy? Nelly, are you blind? Can't you see? There is something about this guy. I mean, if I wasn't engaged, we won't be talking this. I would have taken that guy long ago. I don't, I don't think I'm ready for such games right now. Did you just say games? Wait, wait, wait. Nelly, does this look like a game to you? I mean, you wake up one day and regret this. I mean, you wake up one day and you call me and you tell me you're regretting it. Nelly, if this guy stays up to a month in this town and these other ladies see him and pick him up and touch him up and clean him up. Nelly, what this guy needs is money. Once you are able to give him that money, you have his loyalty and his honesty for life. I don't know why you're doing this, Anne. I mean, you act like you've forgotten about Charles. Do you know what happened? I don't know why you're doing this now. Nelly, can you stop? I mean, can you stop this Charles, 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 Charles thing and move on? Nelly, move on with your life. You are not living. This is not normal. Every time Charles, Charles, move on. Please. You're my friend. I won't deceive you. I want what's best for you. Leave Charles and move on with your life, please. Charles here, yeah, Charles dead. Move on. Forget that fool. that dropped you movie. Okay, uh, it's, it's Madame at the bakery that he works. She just came to know where he's staying. What did I tell you about bringing people into my house? Uh, madam, she's not people. She's his madam. She's his boss at the bakery that she just wanted to know where he's staying in case of emergency. I do not want to see that boy in this house by tomorrow morning. Hey, madam, uh, please, hey, Beacon. Go and tell him what I said now. Hey, madam, madam. Now! Please, I'm very sorry. It will never happen again. Please, ma. If you sack me now, I don't have anywhere to go. I don't know anyone in the city. And I don't want to go back to the village now. Please, ma. But I warned you. I warned you. Don't let anybody into my compound. I told you. I warned you. Madam, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The woman needed to know that I'm genuine. She, she says she wants to know where I'm living. And if, if I didn't bring her home, she would have terminated my appointment. Please, ma. Please. I'm sorry. It will never happen again. Please. Please. 
please be quiet. Get up. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. How much does she pay you? She said she will start with 30,000 naira. I want to quit that job. Ma? Yes. But, Ma, if I... I will pay you 60,000 naira. Start working for me. Sweep my house, wash my clothes. Wash my cars. Just clean my house into and outside. It just starts now. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Chimobi, I think my madam likes you. Why would you say such a thing? How would a big lady like that like me? A papa like me? Love is blind. Uh, yeah. Can't you see the handwriting on the wall? She likes you. She better not like me because it will not work. Leilonia, look at this one. She will, you better pray. Hmm? Pray and fast. You better pray that she likes you. Because the mere fact that my mother likes you, you're a millionaire. Not even talk of when she marries you. Is it where Beriko? Bohaliban. What makes you think that me, Chimobi, will accept to marry her? Yes, you will, Chimobi. Because you need money. You, Chimobi, need money more than any person in this world. Yes. If you want to be identified with our people, Chima. If you want our people to respect you, if you want our people to stop treating you like something or someone picked from a gutter or from a nearby bush, you need money. Serious money. I won't be. Yes. Chema, if you don't have money, you will have address. You will have surname. You have no identity. Norma is looking for who to send to untimely grave. What is it again, this woman? Tell me. Norma is not in this house. <laughs> Immediately I went in, she sneaked out of this house. Excuse me, what did I just hear you say? Norma, I'm about to go. She's nowhere to be found. Hey! She's not in this house. It's okay now, listen to me. Eh? Go now and search for her. Every nook and cranny of this village. And sack it. And bring her home right now. My in-law just called me now and said that I'm already on their way to this place. Hey! Huh? That is no time. You must do this now. Hey, come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, I am here at our usual spot. I've, I've waited for you here since morning. When are you coming back? 
They want to take me away from you. But I will not let them. And I'm going to wait here until you come back and take me with you. I miss you. I love you. Not even a thousand suitors can take me away from you.
You're very handsome. Look, you deserve much more than this low life. I want to make you the man of your dreams. <laughs> Look, you may not know, but I have all it takes to change your life. But all I need from you is faithfulness. Chimobi, would you always be there for me? Would you make me the woman of my dream? Or will you just diss me as soon as your status improves? Because I know a million women will start fighting over you once you start making money. They may not notice you now that you are a nobody, but <laughs> once you are made, they will fight over you. Trust me. Chimobu, tell me, would you always be there for me? Tell me, would you? Today I make a strong promise to you. This tree over our head and this stick bear me witness as I make a vow to you that I will never, ever leave you for another woman, no matter what. <laughs> uh, today I also make a strong promise to you. Let this tree over our heads and this stick be my witness that I will never, ever leave you for another man, no matter the circumstance. <laughs> Too much. Please help me, Lord. Please. Please help me. Yeah, Chumobi. Sleep is this? Uh, Madhu. You won't understand at all. What time is it? Um, Chimobi. Um, I think you have to go to the village this morning. What's the problem? Uh, what's the problem? Calm down now. Wole Omayo. Hey, calm down. Are you not a man? Take it easy. Okay. Okay. Hey. I'm calm. I'm calm. So what is the problem? Uh, I received a call this morning from the village. Uh -huh. uh, so they said that uh, your mother had a small attack and was taken to the hospital. No. Uh, just small. No. Uh, she's in the hospital. No, but no. Hey, Chimo. Hey, Chim. My God. I warned her. I warned Mama, but she would not listen. Ma. Oh. Uh, yeah. What are you doing? Where are you going to? What kind of stupid question is that now, Madu? Well, must you pack everything? Eh? Chimori? Yes, I will pack everything. Because I'm not coming back here. I'm going to stay with Mama, no matter what. I won't come back here, not even for all the wealth in the world. Uh, Chima, at least you, you, you will take your bath now. Eh, uh, Biasa, Have a Have a Not to kill any shelf. Chimori. I told you, I told you never to allow that woman go back to her level again. I told you. Doctor, doctor, I tried my best, but 
She insisted that I should go to the town. She said that I should go to the city and live and that she would survive without me. She's the one that insisted. And you believed that? Doctor, people don't understand. I insisted and insisted, but the woman was living like her life depended on it. And I had to go. Doctor, doctor, please. Her case is too complex now. Too complex. She didn't keep me. Nobody knows whether she will survive the woman. Doctor Umbanu. No. I doubt it. No, Doctor, no. I doubt it because from the series of tests we ran on her, it was obvious that her second kidney has been affected also. And uh, one, she needs a kidney transplant. Two, she needs to be placed on a constant dialysis until a suitable donor is found and the kidney transplanted. And thirdly, if these things are not done as fast as possible, chances are that she might not survive the coma. If she eventually does, she will not live longer than three months. Doctor, take my kidney. Take my kidney. Just test me and take one of my kidneys and put for her. Anything it takes. Doctor, please. Kidney transplant costs a lot of money. Besides, it is not done in a local village hospital. It is done in a modern hospital with ultra-modern facilities. How much? How much? Tell me. Nobody knows how many times she has to go through dialysis. But the kidney transplant alone will cost nothing less than three to four million naira. But I told you, I told, she doesn't need heart level anymore, I told you. Papa, Papa. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me, Papa? Why are you doing this to me? Because of Baba, because Baba, because yes, Baba, because. Okay, it's okay. Stop crying. Your mother will be fine. Okay, she'll be fine. You're not sure. I'm not sure. Yes, I. I, I am. I'm sure. Yeah. It's okay. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Is there no way you can waste this money? Eh? How can I raise three million naira? How? Maybe you can meet your mother's brothers. Your uncles, they can sell one or two pieces of land and then you raise the money for her. Immediately I left the doctor's office, I rushed to see them. And instead of them to help, they were busy worsening the case by reminding me of my mother's plight. It's okay. Don't mind them. Eh? God will send help soon. You know, God? He better send help. God should better send help. Because if my mother dies, I will die with her. I swear I will. No, don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. Nobody will die. Please go back with Kebo. No. I cannot live one minute without my mother. Oh, okay. Is, it, is there nobody in the city that you can run to for help? Which city? The one I went to a few days ago. Uh -huh. See, I, I'm just worried and I'm, I'm just looking for a way to help.
Yes. There's somebody. But I can't go to her for help. I can't. What do you mean by that? Your mother needs to leave. And you have someone in the city that can help you. And you're saying you don't want to go. Why? Because of you. Huh? Mom. Yes. Hey. How? I don't understand. to go now, eh? We've been here since morning. At least go home. You have your bath, eat, change your clothes. Then let's go. Biko, 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 let's go. I want to stay with my mother. Mm. Mm. You don't want to stay with me, Okuya. Yeah? You don't love me anymore, Oria. Yeah? Okuya. Yeah? I never said that. Eh, so let's go now. Eh? See, you staying here will not change anything. No? It will not add or subtract to your mother's condition. So why don't we just go home so that you can have your bath, change your clothes, eat and have energy. Then rest small. We will now come back here again and stay with her. You know go. Chimobi since I got back. Uh, madam, Chimobi is in hot soup. Oh. Hot soup. Hot soup? Uh, uh, sure his mother is very sick. In fact, as I'm talking to you now, the woman is in a coma. And they don't they need to give her a kidney transplant. And they need over four million naira for that. Oh my god. Uh, in fact, as the boy is just awaiting the mother's death. In fact, because I don't know where you get that kind of money from. Jesus Christ. Where is he now? The village he traveled this morning. Oh. oh my god. This is not good news at all. It's not though, uh, madam, it's not. Nelly, see, this is an opportunity for you to be a savior in this guy's life. Take advantage of this position. Why are you even doing this? I mean, for God's sake, you're pushing it too hard. Yes. You're talking like, like he's a god or something. Is he the only man on earth? Besides, who told you I need a man in my life right now? Nelly. Nelly, I'm your friend. I know what you need. You need a man. Take advantage of this position now, this girl. I am not interested. Ah, okay. Yes. You're not interested? I'm not. Don't worry. That lady that dropped him the other day, she will come and help him and she will waste him away from you. That time your eye will open. <laughs> Good for her. Good for him. Mm. Yes. Okay. I won't bother you again. Please don't. Listen, my tailor uh, said that dress wasn't good enough, so what I'm going to do is... Um, uh, maybe when we travel, right? Let's, let just do, see, let's, let not, today. let's not do no shopping here, because we need better dresses. I told you, eh? My madam does not like people coming to this house. You want to put me in trouble? Eh? Oh, he's, my madam is bad now. Nah, I told you, I told you, you want to put me in trouble. How can we help you? 
Please, I'm here to see Chimobi. He has not been to work for some days now. Listen, I do not want to see you anywhere around this house again. Are we quarreling? <laughs> oh, is that how you go about looking for your staff everywhere? Listen, you will not like what I will do to you if I see you here again. Is it an offense for me to ask for my staff? Are you still here? Get a steal of my phone. I want to drive into my compound. Rubbish. Rubbish. I eat now. Hmm? Yeah, no, no, you've not even eaten anything. No, I'm not hungry. Ah, ah, my cousin is a pano. And now, hmm? Oh, come on. I'm food in bath. We meet you through King Head. You're going to go to the toilet. You're going to go. Okay, madam. Eat now. Why are you acting as if this thing doesn't affect you? I'm not the only one in trouble here. I know. You don't know anything, Nene. You don't. Look, if my mother dies now, I swear, I swear, I will die with her. I will close my eyes and I will die. Then you will decide whether you will join us or you survive without I'll us. Stop talking like that. Nobody is going to die, Biko. Eh? See, nothing will happen to your mother. Nothing will happen to you. And nothing will happen to us. Where is your fate? Eh? I pray so. I hope so. But I know. Even if it's small meat, eat. I spent my time cooking this food for you. Eat meat. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Who are they? <laughs> Madu. Yeah? You, uh, you brought them to the village. Yes, now. Nah. You don't like that. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's not that I don't like it. It's uh, It's just that I wasn't expecting to see you people. Yeah. Well, Madu told me everything, and you don't expect me to sit down and watch your life depreciate when I can actually help. <sighs> I have come to help. Who is she? Uh. Oh. Um. Ne, no ma. This is Nelly, my friend. Uh, Nelly, uh, this is Norma, my sister. Hi, um, Chimobi, we have to go to the hospital right now. I have to get your mother to Abuja, put her in a very good hospital, and then we'll wait for our documents to be ready, and then we'll fly her to India for her transplant. Come on, we have to go. There's no time. I'm coming. Let me. What? what let me bring. Ah, oh, Chimobi, forget those rags. Come on, we'll get new clothes in Abuja. Let's go. No, no. Come on, let's go. There's no time, okay? Let's come, come, come. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Okay, bye, bye. <laughs>
for you how could you have forgotten so soon all I went through because of you how I suffered because of you the sacrifices I made for you and your mother <sighs> Let heavens be my witness. <laughs> Let them judge us. <laughs> Let them judge us. already yes they left yesterday in fact they are at the airport here already taxi is bringing them home that's Thank nice ah <laughs> oh, god it's been so long six long months i can't wait to see him no wonder you're smiling ah <laughs> oh, i will be forever grateful to you my friend it was the idea in the first place and today I'm so, so happy. <laughs> when I was telling you, Who's here? Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, 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 my world. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for giving me back my life. May God bless you. Oh, please, get up, get up. May God bless you. Get up, you don't have to kneel for me. I'm glad you're fine. I didn't know you are this cute. Come here, give me a hug. Come on. Come here. It's okay. Ah, uh -huh. I didn't bite, oh. Ah. Sorry, oh. If you didn't bite, I'm gonna give you the bone. Oh, come on. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Well, tomorrow I have a big surprise for you. <laughs> Wait, you mean we're not done yet? Baby, I ain't done nothing yet. You know I like surprises. I have a big one for you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see what this big surprise of yours is. <laughs> Jimmy, thank you, God. Thank you for giving my son this lovely lady. <laughs> Mama, and thank you for giving birth to this lovely boy. Hey! I am some son. Okay, stop. Seriously, both of you stop. <laughs> Steals one of your chicken. No! Eat no, mama's food. No, no. Chicken is the best. Eh? <laughs> that is how he cheats me all the time. <laughs> Mommy's boy. Mm -hmm. I don't mind now I'm now I'm Nelly's boy. Mommy's boy. Oh. 
Ono na apa kwa mamo. Asi no nelis Yes, so those uh, documents and the bank booklets I was sending to you while you were in India were actually for both the contract and the new company. Wait, you got a federal government contract in my name? <laughs> and I'm already executing it on your behalf. It's actually over a billion naira. What? Yes, baby. And the only thing left for me to do now is take you to your new office where you meet your general manager and your auditor general. They will let you know how far the project has gone. <laughs> Nelly, you're, you're kidding me, right? I'm not, baby. I told you. You deserve much more. Uh, I met with your site manager today and he said your company has already been registered and is also already on a federal government project. <laughs> so, what you're trying to say is that I'm now a contractor? A big time contractor, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, <laughs> the house is beautiful. Oh, give me. Hey. <laughs> Mama, I'm glad you like it. I like it though. Nick, everywhere. I like it. Nice way, I for me, I for me, I'm going to We um, give us a few minutes. We have something to discuss. Uh, okay, so what do you know? I just want to guy. Mama. Shakara Bobo. Let me go outside and look around some more. If I can't call it. Now, first things first. I think you need to start building. I saw uh, Mazianya and he said um, he can sell some plots of his land to us. Once you pay, then you start building a big, beautiful, <laughs> massive house. I'm not ready to go to the village, Mama. Oh, uh, Aram, why? You have to go to the village. You need to go to the village so that they can see that you have made it. You have become a big man. That way, they will start identifying with you. Who do you think would follow you to go and pay a dowry when Nelly proposes to you? You're talking as if you don't know I'm, as, uh, I'm in a fix right now. In what kind of fix, Awataro? Why would you ask me such a question? Oh, is it in Norma? Yeah, that one is not a problem now. Have you forgotten that Norma's father said that you cannot marry her? That he will kill you, Ilosogo. Nah, we don't need a normal enemy. No, 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 Mama. Mbakwa, I will not be a party to that. I will not. Eh. Yeah. Okay, Chalo. So now you want to disappoint this nice girl that has been there for you. A girl that saved my life. She gave me back my life. Oh. Turned you into a big man. Eh? Got uh, contracts for you from the government. Now you want to disappoint her. Mama, the same way Noma suffered for us. Noma suffered for us. Have you forgotten so soon? Noma sacrificed for us. Forgive me for the sacrifice of what that Noma did. What are we talking about? Eh? In short, there's no point saying anything. I, I don't even want to think about it because I am sure she is married. I mean, she had a lot of suitors coming her way. Some came by car, some on their bikes. Mandi Joko Webia. I'm sure she's long settled down by now. No way, Mama. Norma will marry only me. Akoko, in Amako, right from when you were a child, Norma will marry only you. Nah, it is not possible. I'm sure by now Norma has her own family. So why don't you move on? Mama, is going to do for her. Is Norma can you come here? She will wait for me now. She will wait. 
No, 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 You need to go to bed. Eh? You've been here all this while. You might wait for Piko, chie, chiko. Eh? Come and go to bed, please. Mama, the problem is that you do not understand my plight. You don't understand the situation I'm in right now. I understand. Eh? I'm your mother. Opomu amui. Eh? Namonia, don't worry. God will see you through. He has always seen us through. Hmm? Chukunafu. Tomorrow is another day, and it will take care of itself. You know what? Get up. Come and get to bed. Come on. Namonia. Namonia. He's now building a house. <laughs> they said he is now a millionaire since he came back from Obodo Ibo. Mm -hmm. This life, eh, is something else. My sister, everybody in this village is now running around Okiro. Mama Chimobi, even the uncles and the brothers that abandoned them then, is now showing a lot of concern. <laughs> because she now drives a big jeep. She can drive now. She has a driver. She has a driver now. Are you not in this village? Yeah. Oh, that woman has really suffered. Ah. Who doesn't know her story in this village? Hey. Hmm. Huh. My major concern is Norma. That girl has rejected a lot of suitors, all in the name of waiting for Chinwebi. I pray he marries her. Hmm. That one is your concern. Me, I'm happy. That God has finally remembered the king. Let that boy marry her. That's my thing. Because it's not easy. This one. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, Uncle. Ah, that's my name, Oma. Nani, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Ada. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. What about our son, Chimobi? Chimobi, yeah. Eh. He's in Abuja. Hey, um, and I learned you sleep in a hotel at a uh, where each time you come back. Nanye, as you put it, true. I fuck with one time. It's true. But uh, that that uh, that house belongs to your father, and nobody is pushing you and your son away from that house. It's better you take a, a room there uh, than wasting money unnecessary in the hotel. It's not good, Ada. <laughs> It's okay, Nani. I feel comfortable staying in the hotel. And so, Boadiro. Well, if you say so. Mm. Okay, uh, if you get back to Abuja, uh, tell our son, Chim, will be that. Uh, just tell him to make time to visit you 
that I have a very crucial uh, matter to discuss with him. Huh? I will let him know. I was already on my way. Hey, out. okay, let me be my on my way too. I really thank God for the work. The work is going on. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Mama. No more. <laughs> hey. Now, why you put someone? Eh? I will be somewhere in the village. You're looking well. Hey, Mama. How are you? <laughs> Mama, I'm fine. No, I am fine. Eh, but it's just I've not seen Chimobi since he came back from Obudu Ibo. Hey, eh, Mama. I'm just wondering why he hasn't taken out small time to come and see me. Eh? Or is he fell? Nem, order on man. Please forgive him. It's just that Chimobi is a very busy man. Imawa, eh? He sits with the president and ministers and I'm a business. Even when he's with them and you call him, oh, will you fall on your president again? I'm telling you. He, he's not a big man, no. He is, so. Yeah, yeah. Eh? he is. Eh, but, Mama, he, is he so busy that he cannot at least leave that president small and talk to me? How come I'm normal? Eh? Normal, mom. If you could be joking. But let me tell you the truth because I wouldn't want to lie to you. You got to go keep eagerly on your head. Chimobi doesn't even think of you anymore. Eh, Zioku. All the two busy. Contract ever and ever. Oh, when you find out lifting oil. Yeah! I got to come here and run down my neck. Business and I make a uncle. You got to go one name. So, big okay, why are you? Hi, I'm a wrong one. Come on, one you know. eye. Chimobi should be the one telling you. Man, I can't wait. If you go, Chimobi is about to. Uh, I'm sure Chimobi is married. I'm not going to go. I'm about to release you about. And then, Mommy, you see. Mama, what did you say? Hey, because I'm up now. Ask Mama, what did you say? I said I, I, I shouldn't be the one to tell you. Man, I can't just leave you. Hi, Boy, papa, Get driver. Where is that driver? Chimobi, we promised not to leave each other, no matter the circumstances. I sacrificed everything. Chimobi, I went through hell. I went through fire just because of this love. I sacrificed everything. The only thing I did not sacrifice was my life. But now, you have taken away that life from me. You have killed me. Jimobi, you have killed me.
anything I do. Let the consequences be on your head. The head of your children. And the head of your children, children. It's God that actually sent me here to save her life. You would have left her there to die. Makagini. Makagini. You won't rob her. Huh? Nah, thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Don't mind my husband. No. Marry! No, no, would not. She would not. Huh? And all the men that came to seek her hand in marriage. Huh? You know what she did? She ended up disgracing herself and not me. Why? Because she's waiting for that uh, good for nothing bastard of no reputation. Now the boy has made money in the city and he has abandoned her to rot here. Nonsense. Hey, say her in a kubiko. Stop saying that. Stop saying it. If anything has happened to her, this is what you'll be saying. Akwea? Mature the game What else do you expect me to say? Give it to Uncle. Nah, no, man. Where is your lover boy? Oh, Lugoro, woman. Where is the boy? Where is he? Nonsense. You are crying! Huh? <laughs> Stop saying that to her, please! Stop saying that to her! Crying is not the answer! Is it the answer? Why is your lover born? And you are crying? It's okay, it's me. This is just the beginning, you know. You've not started crying. No, thank you, oh. God bless you. You will be wrong. No. If a child says his mother will not see it, please. No sense. I said, what did you tell I her? I did not tell her anything. You're lying to me? Huh? You're lying to me? What did you tell her? Uh, um, wait, let me remember. What did I tell Okay. Uh, now, I, I told her that you're married. What? You did what? I, I, I told her you're married so she would leave you to concentrate on your new life. Your new girl, your new home and your new job. And why is that in Jordan here? 
Do you know the consequences of what you have done? Do you? You lied to an innocent girl because of money. Who told you have a newfound love? Who told you? Who? Chimobi. What's going on here? Eh? What's going on here? I don't know. I don't, this is not Chimobi. This is not my son. This here is a monster. You're trying me. Honey, what is it? Why are you shouting at Mama? Mama? Eh? What's happening? Leave me. Chimo! Leave me. I want to be left alone. Because of normal, you're, you're harassing me. Eh, I want to go back there, so I will, I'll be suffering. You want to beat me up? Nonsense. Go maybe see everything. Set to go. No, you're not. You're not. Please talk to me. What's going on? Nothing. How can you say nothing? Okay, why did you shout at your mother? Look, it's just a, it's just a minor family misunderstanding. Nothing more. Family misunderstanding? Baby, what am I to you? Am I not family to you? Am I a stranger to you now? I never said that. So why are you keeping this away from me? Talk to me, baby. Talk to me. Babe, there's nothing to talk about, okay? I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Just trust me. suddenly changed. <laughs> it seems he doesn't want to be with me anymore. Every little thing I do now irritates him. He just flips at me over every little issue. Why is this happening now? <laughs> you know I never wanted to give my heart to any man. And after what happened to me with Charles, And you lured me into this. Now I'm in love with him and the whole thing is affecting me seriously. It is. Are you sure he's not seeing somebody yeah. else? He's not. Are you sure? Yes. I have my eyes on him. I mean, all his staff are my people. Yeah. I planted them there to monitor his every move. His cooks, his drivers, his security man, they are all my people. I mean, come on now. <laughs> he didn't expect me to play loose with him. Not after my experience with Charles. No. God. Why the change? I mean, why is he behaving like this now? I don't know. Seems more like a spiritual problem to me. Hmm? Spiritual? Sort of. That's serious. Are you serious?
honey. Babe. I'm listening. Baby, please. If there's any way I've offended you, forgive me. I can't continue like this. I mean, I'm human and we make mistakes. I'm not perfect. really come to love you so much so much like never before I've built my world around you and I don't think I can ever live without you I can't If it's something you don't like about me, just say it. Just say it and I'll change. Please. Hey, please. Please. It's okay. I'm not angry anymore. Are you sure? Yeah. Then kiss me. Make love to me. With all pleasure. will not change anything. That man doesn't watch your tears at all. Wipe those tears and let's go to bed. Mama, I love him. I love him so much. And I don't think I'll ever live without him, Mama. You can live without him. I see, I see. You can live without him. It's just a matter of time. Time, they say, is the greatest healer. With time, you forget about him and you move on with your life. No, Mama, I don't think it will be possible. It's possible. Oh, it's possible, Mama. Oh, it's possible. Nagira, it's possible. Because if you turn let's go inside. Ngwangwang, let's go. Mama, I don't want to go to bed yet. I want to stay here. Bini, 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 let's go inside. You don't want to sit here. It's okay. You will forget about him soon and move on with your life. He doesn't want your tears. Yes? Uh, who are they looking for? Uh, please, we are looking for Chimobi's house. I hope uh, this is his house. Yes, Naya. Oh, thank God. <laughs> we are his brothers. Yes. Just tell him that uh, his uncles are here to see him. Uh, okay, I'm coming. Uh, uh, please, uh, tell him is his uncle, Ekene, uh, uh, and uh, his mother's uncle, uh, Ichenda. <laughs> How this old man? Don't be waiting for him to tell me, no, no, no. Now I won't repeat him again. Uh, uh, <laughs> Thank you. 
You say, no, now come inside. Uh, also, no, no, carry anything inside this bag. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> only my snuff and my small bag. Yeah, yeah, go inside. Um, our daughter. The reason why we are here is to address an issue. Uh, something came up recently. Yes. Mm. And what is this issue that came up? About uh, Chimobi's uh, fatality. How? Why? What, what are you talking about? Uh, please, sister. Tell us the truth. Who is the father of uh, Chimobi? I mean, why are we talking about this? What is the reason for this? The reason is that your cousin, your mother's elder brother's son, Obiajuru, came to our place with some of his kinsmen, claiming that uh, he is a uh, Chimobi's father. That they have come to perform the cleansing rituals so that they will have him back. Are there many men? What? What are you talking about? Sister. Uh, is it true? Mama! Please, sister, tell us the truth. Who is Chimobi's father? Inky baby. What? Inky, do you know you're a very beautiful girl? Eh? Uh -huh. How come you're just noticing it now? I've been staying in my maternal home for the past two weeks and you're just noticing it. See, you're just the both of us alone. Let's go inside and have fun. Let's do it. Go inside and do it. Are you out of your mind? Huh? What is wrong with you? You want us to go inside and commit Ibene? Yes, now. You don't know it's a taboo for me and you to have an affair. Which taboo? <laughs> Nobody will know now. Nah. It's just the both of us. Obi. Take your time, oh. Take your time. I am not interested. Now get out. Cut off. Find yourself. You must do this thing, oh. You must do it. And today. I am only you, oh. I am only you, Obi. Stay from me. Nikki, Nikki, now you must do this. Obi. Okay. Obi. I'm not getting fun, though. Ah! Obi. You will enjoy it. You will enjoy it. You will enjoy it. Please forgive me. I said I'm very sorry. Please. I will tell grandmother what you did to me. I will tell her. Let her come back. I said I'm very sorry. It was the hand of the devil. I don't know what came over me. Please. So, so, so when I was telling you to leave me alone, why didn't you leave me alone? Why? Thank you. Please. Okay. I'll stop crying now, okay? Stop crying. Mama will soon come. Please. And I'll come back. I will tell her for you. You will tell her? Yes. Oh, so you want them to stone me to death, Abby? You want them to kill me? Okay. You can go ahead. Go ahead and tell her. Is it not death? I'll just die now. So, so, so who is talking about death here? Who is, who is talking about death here? You don't know that if you tell anyone what I did to you. And the consequence is that the person involved will be taken to the market square and stoned to death. Hey, Onyasi. Me, Onyasi. Yes. Ask anybody. It's a taboo for close relations to have sex in our village. Don't you know? The person will be stoned to death because the person is assumed to be an evil child. So, 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 why you know it's a taboo? Why, why, did you, why did you stop doing it? That is why I told you that it was the devil's handwork. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Please, forgive me now. I'm sorry now.
Let me tell you, I've not seen my menstruation for the past two months. It's like I'm pregnant though. Is this a kind of joke? Okay, this is not something to joke about, okay? Who is joking with you here? And I'm, I'm telling you I'm pregnant and you, you, you're you calling it a joke. Hey, hey. I'm not joking, I'm pregnant. Hey. Hey, Kiru. What is it? We are finished. Kiru. We are dead. Why are you talking like that? Is this how we end up our lives? Why are you talking like that? Daddy, you are doing that. I told you. I told you. Kiru. See. Don't you know that if this pregnancy shows up now and you tell people that I, your cousin, is, is responsible for it, don't you know that the both of us will be taken to the village square and stoned to death? Don't you know? You know that it's a taboo for a cousin to impregnate his cousin. See, the best thing for we to do now is to keep this pregnancy secret. If not, the both of us will be taken to the village square and stoned to death. Don't you know? So who would I tell that I'm pregnant? What's he calling me? Is it every question that you answer? See, the only thing we'll do now is to keep this thing secret between the both of us and not allow anyone to hear it. Or do you want to die? God forbid. Why? Then since you don't want to die, then let's keep this secret between the both of us, okay? Hey! You want to kill her? Get out of my way. Let me kill her. Let me kill her, Ndokako. This girl is so hard-hearted. Can you imagine? Since morning, I've been asking her to tell me who got her pregnant. Wait till you email. But she wouldn't tell me. Eh? I want me to clap for her. I will kill her, I will kill her today. Why now? Tell your father who got you pregnant. Eh? He has been beating you since you came back. Tell him who got you pregnant so he will stop beating you. See? You soon deliver, you soon put to bed. And what? I don't want anything to have to this baby. Put what to bed? Megan. Eh? Ow! Papa! 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 It's okay, man. It's okay. Over my dead body will she put her to bed in this house. <laughs> Advise her to take cause to that man who got her pregnant. So that we will force that man to marry her. That will be the, best, the only option. Or this house will not sustain the good of us. I'm talking to him in this man. <laughs> Sister, so this is true. Obi deceived and defied you. Whether it is true or not, it makes no difference. Team Obi here is our son because uh, they did not bear her breath. We cannot fold our hands and watch them collect our illustrious son from us. Are they men? Men to watch. And what exactly makes you think I would like to be identified with you people? Ah ah. Nkiru here is uh, my brother's uh, daughter, and you are our son. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Look at you. So because I've made money. I am now your illustrious son, right? Hmm? Zanum, have you forgotten so soon how you made this woman right here suffer unnecessarily? Have you? Have you forgotten how you denied us a portion of land? You and you again, eh? When we needed to ease our burden through famine. Now you walk in here and you want to come and reap where you did not sow. Shameless men. Nana Bwale. Shameless men. Chimobi, please don't be angry with us. Mm. Mm. Uh, you, you see, we don't want to see anything. As a matter of fact, the only thing I want to see right now is both of you 
believe in Maya. Huh? Timo, it hasn't gotten to Mama, it has gotten to it. It has. Now, Mdu. Akene, get out of my house. Or else I will get you arrested we are, we are, and jailed. Before the count of we are living. Five. One, we are living. You're still sitting down. Two, three. Do you know why I'm going? We are living house. Don't get out. Don't forget, you're bad. You're bad. Get out of my house. No more, me. Mama. Look. I understand how you feel about my uncle and my brother. But become one. Forgive them. Forgive them so that you can get the most important thing that you need in life. Which is? Identity. Identity. Look at them. They are not ready to accept you as one of theirs. Eh? Let bygones be bygones so that we can move on. You will have people to call your own kinsmen. Umunai, anything that happens, you know where to go to. You know where you belong. I understand what you're trying to say. But what stops me from going with my own real kingsmen? My father's people. It is a taboo. Mama, they said they are ready to perform the cleansing rituals. I'd rather stick with my own people than your own people that left you to the point of death, abandoned you. And now they surface from nowhere because, because God has smiled on us. Nah. Look, Mama. what I'm trying... Mama, this is my decision on this issue. And it is final. Missing me. We were together last night. Yeah, like that's ever enough. <laughs> anyway, for today, I want to take your baby out to lunch. And that's all you want? Yes, that's all I want. Mm, okay, break time, lunch time. Lunch time, yay! <laughs> that's my baby. Yeah. Uh, okay. Right, Where are we going? Mm, that will be your secret. Ah. <laughs> hey. How's baby? There's something I'd like to discuss with you. What? My people are getting worried. I told you about my last experience with my ex. Hey, when are you coming to see my people? I mean, when are we going to make this thing official? Honey, did I say something? Did, did I say something wrong? No, no. So why are you not happy? Look, it's it's not I'm, it's not that I'm not happy per se. It's just it's just that I'm thinking. I'm I'm, I'm thinking <sighs> this is not the time, and um, maybe you're being too fast, too forward. I'm not, babe. I mean, we've been dating for over nine months now. Besides, my people are worried. They wouldn't want me to go through what I did with my ex. It's okay. I, um... It's alright. Let's eat, okay? Let's not, uh, this is not the time to discuss this. 
We'll talk about it later. But I'll be the one to bring it up. Not you. Okay? Baby, I'm sorry. It's not like I don't trust you or that I feel insecure with you. It's just... I want to be with you all the time. I want to be called your wife. <laughs> Let's eat. Problem, honey. Talk to me. I I lied to you. <sighs> About what? About that girl you saw when you came to my place in the village. What about her? She's not my sister. Who is she then? She... She's the girl I love. My soulmate. What's the meaning of this madness? I have to tell you the truth right now because we can't build this thing on a lie. If we do, it will, it will fail you and it will fail me in the end. And what is the truth? The truth... The truth is... I 
love this girl. And she loves me too. We, we made a promise. We made a promise to each other not to leave each other no matter what. Look, look, I never knew I was going to see you again. I never planned to see you again. But you came looking for me in the village. You gave me hope. You gave me a reason to live. But now, my past is haunting me. My conscience pricks me. I feel like I've betrayed this girl. Stop! Oh God! What is happening now? Baby, please, stop me, you're joking. Tell me you're pulling my legs, please. I wish I could. I swear, I wish I could. Look, I can give you back everything, everything you ever gave me. As long as it gives me peace of mind, because that's the only thing that is important to me right now. Baby, I've come to love you too. I've come to love you too, so much. But I can't stay with you, because I won't be happy. Can't you see? I won't forgive myself. You won't be happy. We won't be happy in this marriage. Why would you want to stay with a man whose body and soul belongs to another woman? Why? Go. Why would you want to stay with a man who no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, you can never make him happy? Go! It's okay. Stop crying. You've been crying too much. It's okay. Why is this happening to me, Anne? Why? Can't I just have the man I love? <laughs> Why is this happening? They always have to wait until I've invested my time, my money, my everything before they leave. Why? What kind of fate is this? <laughs> I don't know why this is happening. I, I really don't know. But I know every disappointment is a blessing in disguise. And I know faith has so much in stock for you. Please, just go. I'm going to strip him of everything I gave him. Everything! Is that necessary? What do you mean? I mean, Chimobi is a good guy. You went to him. He didn't come to you. I was the one who pushed you, I know. Fine. But I mean, okay, look at it this way. You were meant to save his mother's life and change his destiny. <laughs> so, what did I gain by doing all that? You saved a life. I mean, you put a smile on somebody's face. You are a world changer. You changed this world. <laughs> Why is somebody not trying to put a smile on my own face? <laughs> look at me. Someone will put a smile on your face soon. I know that because you deserve it. Believe me, Kay. <laughs> I would have loved to just reduce him to the power that he was before I picked him up. <laughs> Let him feel what I'm feeling now. Does he deserve that? Chimobi is a sincere guy. At least he told you things the way they are. Yes. He's not a gold digger. He didn't break your heart. He's just a product of destiny. Please, just take it easy. Please. Stop, stop, Nelly, stop, Nelly, stop. I want you to stop. 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 Why? After all I told you, after what we talked about, why? Mama, because my heart, my soul, my body belong to another. I'm going back to my true love. <sighs> Have you thought about the consequences of your action? What is going to happen after everything? What will happen? What? Look, I'll call Nelly 
and I'll personally hand over everything back to her. Her company documents, her house keys, her car keys, every single thing. And what about the house in the village? <laughs> if she wants that one, I'll give it back to her too. Hey. I mean, what, what will it profit me to have all those things, all the good things of life, and then I'll have no joy, no happiness, no peace of mind? No, no. Doesn't make any sense. Norma is the source of my true joy. What about her father? Mama, the same way that you cannot stop me from marrying the one that I want to marry, that's the same way that neither her father nor anyone else can stop her from marrying who she wants to marry. Me. What makes you think Norma would be there waiting for you? After all that I told her. <laughs> no. She won't. She'll wait for me. And what makes you too sure of yourself? I am. She belongs to me. And I belong to her. Wait. Our elders cannot come from nowhere and start to reap from here they have not sown. Oh. From beginning of the pregnancy till when the baby was born, they were nowhere. Ephra? Even during the raising of the baby, they were not found. <laughs> so how could they now come from nowhere and start to lay claim to the boy? Are they me? Oh. He has no right over that boy because he did not pay the bride price of the mother. He did not even perform the cleansing rituals that would have qualified him to have the boy. Oh. So how can he just come and start laying claim over the boy? In fact, he's just a joker. She will be our son. Nobody will take him away from us. Nobody! And I'm even the Yeah. He's going to no place. I, I mean it. Uh, but he changed. That's problem. Which What's problem? the problem? See, the boy himself refused to identify with us. So what are we going to do? Are we going to force him to identify with us? Or what do we do? That's my problem. Just forget about those displays of this. You see, uh, last time you and I visited this place in the city, the little boy was trying to, to express his anger. But you know what happened? He threatened to lock us up with police. Eh? Eh? He, he, he even chased us out of his house. Remember that he's still smoking. Eh? Okay. <laughs> so he's going to no place. He belongs to us. That's it. Eh? What? Is it us? What? Can't you take a message? Amen. Are you not going to work today? Which work? Okay, Mommy, I'm just, I'm just waiting for the appropriate time to go back to Nelly, thank her for all she has done for us, and give everything back to her. Don't tell me that kind of story. So just get ready because we're going to leave this house and leave everything for her. I'm going back to the woman I love. Can do a channel for story, story, story. You're going back to where? Come and carry me to the village. Love on say now. Don't go, don't go, okay? Just stay. Stay here. Oh. Let the owner of the house come and push you out by herself. Pear, she can't do anything. I'm not go member. Don't even say that kind of rubbish. Can't you? Instead of you to go to Nelly, beggar, your nyak and walk here, your wine. And then you people will start planning for your wedding. And yet we move, we on. In all that, now call you. Well, Aliban, if you love her so much, then go and marry her yourself. I will marry her for you. I will marry her, and I will drop you, and you will get her pregnant. Nelly, Nelly, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for all the pains that I've caused you. It wasn't intentional. Believe me, it wasn't. I'm so sorry. I, I never meant to hurt you. Never. Believe me. I was in a tight fix and everything I did, I did for you. 
believe it or not, everything I did, I did for you. It was better I told you the truth. Rather than lie to you and you find out from somewhere else later on. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Nelly. Please, please forgive me. Please. Please, Nelly. I'm so, so sorry. I appreciate everything you did for my mother and I. Everything you've done for us. And I'll be forever indebted to you. I'm here to return everything. Everything. The cars, the house, the company, everything. As long as it will make you happy. No. I'm sorry. No. Don't worry. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Just. Go to the one you love, okay? I love you and I'll always love you. I will. You can have everything. Just take everything. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Question is that? Well, you know, we lost some contacts, and I've been in the UK all this while. I've been in jail. I just came back to Nigeria two weeks ago, and I asked after you, and they said you made fire tree. <laughs> well, I hope you are not just trying to put up a show with all this. No, 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 no. Let's just go inside, have some drinks, eat, then we we'll talk more. I've been praying for God for a day like this. Come on. Come on. Come on, pretty How could you, Charles? How could you do this to me after everything I did for you? You told me you were only going to the UK to upgrade your skills, only for you to get there, not even a phone call. You just made me a laughing stock before my family and my friends. Baby, believe me. It wasn't my fault. I love you and I will always do. Baby, you know, I can never plan of leaving you. It was the fault of the UK police. What about them? You know, they had my picture. Someone gave them an information that was coming in. So when I stopped my foot on the airport, I was apprehended. I was stripped from everything I was having, straight to the chair. Why would they do a thing like that? Um, apparently we had some issues, and I thought everything has been settled. But when I came into the airport, I was caught. But thank God, I finished serving my three years jail term, and I'm a free man. Oh my God. So you mean you were still thinking about me all those years? For real. Every morning I woke up in the jail. I just made a certain prayer. I said, Father Lord, I commit my pretty damsel Nelly into your hands. Keep her away from men and deceivers. You know? So to cut the long story short, when I made it outside, I looked into your fingers and I wasn't seeing any ring. And I thank God that my prayers has been answered. So what makes you think I'm not into any relationship now? Well, I'm here right now. I'm the rightful owner. Every other person was a thief. So when once the rightful owner is here, every thief goes hiding. Charles, <laughs> you haven't changed at all. Wow. 
escape my murderer. When are we getting married? Hmm? So fast? Yeah, you don't know what it means. All these three whole years without you. It takes only God for someone to survive. No hug, no kisses, no cuddling, mm -hmm. nothing, nothing. <laughs> um, I'm confused here. Baba, I am not lying. I'm not lying. She told me to take everything and leave nothing for her. Is it okay? I'm serious. This girl is an angel. Oh, angel. Gabriel called Gabriela. Hey! Wow, wow, wow. I mean, I couldn't even believe my ears when she said it to me. She said, Chima, take everything. Take everything. Leave nothing for me. Leave nothing! <laughs> hey! To you be all thanks and honor. My forget. Now you are free to marry your norm. Um, about that, well, I'm actually thinking in a, in a different direction. Direction what? Give me an Okay, check this. How much does this girl love me? Or how could she love me so much that she sacrificed everything for me? Everything, including her happiness. Easy. It's unbelievable. Uh -huh. So, okay, features. Are you not the one that told me that you and Norma are meant for each other? Mama. this way or that way, and I'm not fair. Oh, oh yeah. The reason I brought you out here is to have a one-on-one -on -one with you before going to see Uncle Bunga. Okay. Um, I'm sorry about what happened the other day. I'm sorry about the way I overreacted. I know I overreacted, but it's because of... Uh, the anger and depression from all that I've been through. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> no, my son. You don't have to do that, eh? You don't have to apologize to us. We are the one that should apologize to you. Huh? In fact, we really treated you and your mother bad. You know, so I want you to find a place in your heart and forgive us. Um, whatever we did was in ignorance. Uh, one more thing. I, I want you to know that this is your rightful home. So you are welcome home, my son. It is well. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, you get to marry though. Oh, congratulations <laughs> in advance. Yeah, I want you to go to Yeah, no. Who has taught me? I know. I will go. Don't worry. I don't have to handle my brother. Oh. Ah, once again, you are welcome, my in-laws. Thank you. <laughs> you see, I am very happy today. I am so happy. This is because what was destined to be has finally come to be. <laughs> After all trials and oppositions, my daughter, my beloved daughter, Nemoma, has now decided to marry Nelson. <laughs> Adam? <laughs> hey, Adam. I don't know the care. Nine, please. Mm -hmm. please. Um, I've heard what you say. But, um, I like to hear it from her mouth. Oh. I, want to say it. I want her to say it. Okay? Ne. I want to ask you. Have you agreed to marry me? Oh, oh mama. Oh, mama. Oh my god! Oh my god! You came! You came! I told you I'll come back. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Hey, oh god. 
This is bullshit! What the fuck? Oh man, I can't believe this!